All right, what's up, guys? Skyler here. I'm coming at you with my top 10 prospects of the NFL draft. I guess you could say these are the guys at the top of my big board. Um, so let's start this off. It's not Aiden Hutchinson, number one. Number one is Kayvon Thibodeau. This guy is one of the most relentless pass rushers I've ever seen, one of the most gifted pass rushers I've seen since Von Miller and Miles Garrett. He's so good. He's explosive, powerful, good finesse moves. The, he's it, It's like going to the Louvre to see an art museum. He's, he's such an artist at what he does. And he's just he's just all around great. I love him. I love Kayvon. Great prospect. I would absolutely take him number one overall without hesitation. Number two is Aiden Hutchinson. Phenomenal leader. Great pass rusher. Um, good at stopping the run. He reminds me a lot of the Bosa's, which is whatever. Which I think is the the majority of comp that he's getting is the Bosa's. Uh, number three is. The man himself, Sauce Gardner. Ahmad Gardner is incredible. He's the best corner I've watched since Jalen Ramsey. Um, the way he he's, the way he sticks to his guys in coverage is is incredible. You know he he held the Alabama guys in that playoff run insanely well. As like was he? He has like a couple hundred snaps and no touchdowns allowed. The Ahmad Gardner is. The truest form of the word lockdown corner. He's going to come into the league. Excuse me. He's going to come into the league next year and be a top five corner. No problem as a rookie. Sauce Gardner is just an absolute beast of a corner. Tackles really well, too. Moving on to number four, Nicobe Dean. Nicobe Dean is the Georgia defense. I don't want to hear nothing about Jordan Davis. Devontae Wyatt, Quay Walker, it is N'Kobe Dean. This man is incredible. N'Kobe Dean is insane. This dude plays. He reminds me a lot of Darius Leonard. He's just a maniac on the field. If it wasn't for N'Kobe Dean, Georgia's defense's defense last year would not have been Georgia's defense last year. N'Kobe Dean is a difference maker at linebacker, and he just does everything. He does everything incredibly well. N'Kobe Dean is a top five pick unquestionably. Trent McDuffie is at my number five spot. Trent, I I like Trent McDuffie a lot, and he's a really good man, really good in zone. Super solid tackler. Ugh, I said that a little weird. Super, super solid tackler Trent McDuffie is. Um, he's incredibly versatile as well. Uh, he actually reminds me a lot of Teran Matthew. I could even see him making a switch to safety in the league like Honey Badger did. Uh, Trent McDuffie, absolutely solid corner. Number two corner of this class for me personally. Moving on to number six is Jamison Williams. Jamison Williams is incredible, fun to watch. His route running is smooth. It's sharp. He gets open. He finds the green. Incredible hands. Jamison Williams is incredible. He does everything Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave does, but in one receiver. And... <laughs> I can't get enough of Jamison Williams. I know he's coming off the injury. If you've been following that, um, if you've been following that saga, um, his rehab is going incredibly well, and uh, he'll he'll be he'll come into the league next year and be a number one receiver for some team. Moving on to number seven is Devin Lloyd. Devin Lloyd, <laughs> Devin Lloyd's crazy too. Not as crazy as Nicobe Dean, but he's also crazy. He's a he's a really good downhill linebacker. He's able to get in the backfield. He lives in the backfield. Having well over 20 tackles for loss in one season at the, at the college level. Um, and he, he covers like a safety. Like, you can't get better than that. He's a modern linebacker in the NFL. He's, he's fast. Really, really good tackler. He diagnoses the run. He's able to slip in between run gaps and make plays from behind, at the behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, Devin Lloyd's just impressive to watch, and uh, he's with, uh, without a doubt a top 10 linebacker in this draft. Coming in at number eight is Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson, I, I like him a lot. My pro comp to Garrett Wilson is Jerry Judy, and I would have taken Jerry Judy in the top 10 back then uh, in his draft as well. Jerry Judy's really nice. But this is about Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson, again, he's got the speed. He's got very smooth, sharp route running like 
like um, Jamison Williams earlier. Uh, he reminds me a lot more of Jerry Judy, the way he runs his routes, though. And I'm sure he would be happy with that comp as Jerry Judy is a very solid receiver and was an incredible college receiver as well. But And he, he's got super solid. He's got solid hands. Uh, he needs to learn how to catch in stride a little bit better. I feel um, he struggled. You know, he appears to struggle with that a little bit. I know it is really. It really came out in his combine catching uh, catch fumble drill. You know where they catch the ball and throw the ball down. They immediately catch the ball and drop the ball. Um, you know he was doing this weird thing where he was jumping for every catch on that drill. It was really weird. It threw me off. Um, it, it lowered him a little bit on my wide receiver rankings. Um, he's my number three receiver, actually. Uh, I get, I just can't take George Pickens this high with George Pickens' injury and lack of games played last year. George Pickens is incredible, but this ha- this spot has to go to Garrett Wilson because of how great a route running he is, how good a catching it is, and he's healthy. Um, number nine is Malik Willis. Malik Willis is incredible. He's electric, um, huge arm, stupid fast. The kid is Michael Vick if he was right-handed, right? right? He's got all the potential in the world, and you can't pass up that poten- potential like that at quarterback in the top ten. Speaking of quarterbacks with high potential, Matt Corral is next. He offers a lot of the same stuff as Malik Willis, just a little bit lacking in speed compared to me, uh, relative to Malik Willis. Matt, Cor- Matt Corral has a huge cannon arm, Um he, he is fast. He reminds me a little bit more of Josh Allen um, when Josh Allen, not when Josh Allen is coming out, but maybe Josh Allen now. It's really hard to evaluate Matt Corral, though, as a quarterback going through progressions and all that because of the RPO system that he's in. But because of Matt Corral's potential, I have him high on my board. Um, he Again, he's just too good to pass up like, like Malik Willis in the top 10 if you need a quarterback. All right, but that's my top 10. Uh, Thank you guys for listening. I'm out.